All right, you already know it was coming. <laughs> what a wild couple of days it's been in the NBA free agency, you know. Um, I've been AWOL for a couple of weeks now, trying to find, you know, other channels to sub to and whatnot. Trying to find the perfect amount of content to make with terrible quality. <laughs> uh, so... LeBron is now in LA. Lance Stevenson is in LA. Rajon Rondo is in LA. <laughs> like, oh, don't forget JaVale McGee. JaVale McGee is also in LA. So that's that's a good deal right there. You know, maybe it's not everything that Le LeBron wanted, but hey, he got what he wanted. <laughs> he is he fulfilled his obligation to the Cleveland Cavaliers, even though it really wasn't deserved in the first place, because, you know, Kyrie kind of bailed him out, I'm like, I'm not even joking, like, you could go back and watch um, the 2016 finals, and you know that um, Kyrie kind of helped LeBron out, <laughs> wasn't he finals MVP that year, Kyrie, wasn't he, I think so, I don't, I don't remember, it's been like three years, so I don't even know. But, um, yeah, that dismantling was probably the final straw in the coffin, you know, 4-0. Um, the Cavs really had chances to win at least two of them games, and they didn't even capitalize. Um, Tyron Lue now actually gets the coach. <laughs> yes. But, um... And honestly, it's just like, you know, it's a two-team league. It's always been that way, you know. Yet, we're still here watching the NBA. Fast forward to 2018-2019 as we get ready and set up. Um, the draft for my Mavericks was okay. Um, I would have thought we got um, Bagley or somebody like that, you know. Somebody just increased that depth. Um... See, I mean, I don't even, I don't even know my own team anymore. That's, that's, that, that's how sad the NBA has gotten. Uh, and then the big one, um, the Warriors signed Boogie, uh, DeMarcus Cousins. Oh my goodness gracious, the lights! So, it, is it gonna be a setup for Cavs? I mean, not Cavs, Lakers, Warriors in the Western Conference Finals? Probably, probably. I don't think anybody in the West. Has a chance outside those two teams, and look at that. We're all—it's only—it's only what June, July now, and we're we're setting up previewing the NBA already. Um, but I mean, like some other notable things, like as I'm looking at the articles and stuff here. Um, Paul George stayed with the Thunder with uh, Russell Westbrook. Um, Chris Paul stayed with the Rockets. Not sure about Clint Capella. Oh yeah, and Dwight Howard went to the Wizards. So I mean, why, why, just why though? Like Dwight Howard is just something else. Like Dwight Howard is pretty polarizing to me. Like he's always, uh, I mean, he was better as an uh, as a member of the Magic. I feel it, it just it just felt natural that way. And, I just don't even know who the guy is anymore. Um, I mean, the Jazz are still doing pretty good. I mean, you know. Um, oh yeah, Tyreek Evans went to the Pacers. So I mean, that's that's nice. Uh, <clears throat> and it's and I'm looking at the CBS Sports stuff, so not going on the ESPN at the moment. I mean, it's, it's crazy. It's the same. Oh yeah, Nerland's the one who went to Oklahoma City. I thought that was, I thought that was pretty laughable. He could have went to us, you know, for a lot more money, you know, the Mavs for more money. And instead, he decided to go to OKC for less. I think. I don't know, I don't remember the entire story, so you'll have to get back to me on that one. Um, I 
I don't know about Kawhi though. Like, where will Kawhi go? Because he's not staying on the Spurs. Let's let's be honest about that. He's not going to stay. It it's getting bad down there in San Antonio. Like, like I mean, Greg Popovich is still a good coach, but I mean, you know, everybody's either old or you know, just like not there, or I don't even know who they are. You know. It, it, it's been it's been tougher days for San Antonio and Spurs. I bet uh, can't be as bad as my Mavericks though for tanking and getting a top five pick. <sighs> Sigh. Um. But um, yeah, I don't know what's gonna happen to Kawhi. I don't know what's gonna happen this year. But, um, as far as, you know, who's going to make it, I do believe that, you know, if everybody's healthy, I mean, it's going to be Celtics versus either the Warriors, which is more than likely, maybe like an 85% chance, or, or the Lakers, you know, that's like a 15% chance. I don't think anybody else could really do anything like Oklahoma City and, and, and Houston will be there but they're not going to make any noise uh, Utah will be there but they're not going to make any noise either if Memphis gets to the playoffs they're probably going to choke it away like they always do and I mean it's, it's just it's just not looking good for the NBA right now LeBron fulfilled his purpose and everything, so he has nothing to gain from staying in Cleveland. I mean, that's that's really about it right now. Cause I mean, free agency is still going on, and you know, I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's gonna happen next. Maybe maybe Kawhi goes to the Lakers or something. Who knows? <clears throat> It's gonna be a mess. I can already tell because Lavar Ball is there, and you know, you know he's he's all he's already pissed that uh, LiAngelo Lamelo ain't doing nothing, ain't doing nothing special. So <laughs> I can tell that it's gonna be a, it's gonna be fun watching the Lakers this year. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it to be honest do have another video planned it was over something that I found the other day and I'll leave the link to that in the description whenever I decide to make it I don't know today's the 5th so it's maybe like a Saturday upload or something I don't know I'm gonna have to go find the link again anyway but you know Oh yeah, and about the draft, I don't even really care. Don't even really care. You know, the, the Mavs got who they got. Um, everybody else got who they got. It's all about trust in the process at this point. No, I'm not a Philadelphia 76ers fan though. Big boy, out. Peace.